Ooh. What are we gonna get? Dun 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 dun. Ultra weapon bribe. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take that. Could be, could be worse. I don't know how it could be worse, but I'll take that. Hey guys, it's XMK Epic here, and welcome back to my Black Ops 4 weapon guide. Today, we'll be covering the Reaver C86 crossbow. Making its debut in Black Ops 4, the Reaver C86 is Treyarch's fourth installment of a crossbow special weapon, and is available through the reserve system. This edition of the crossbow is very different from its predecessors as it fires two bolts, one after the other, as opposed to the standard one bolt firing system. One bolt is fired after 0.033 seconds of firing, whereas the other bolt is fired 0.15 seconds after the first bolt. In-game, damage is high, with one bolt delivering a one-hit kill to your enemy, regardless of where you hit them. These bolts are not strong enough to deliver a collateral kill, but if aimed correctly, you can take out two enemies with both bolts fired. Once the bolts have been fired into enemy bodies, the bolt is irretrievable, whereas if the bolt did not connect with the enemy, it can still be picked up if you walk over it. The standard crossbow is quite decent on its own, with a rate of fire at 240 bolts per minute. Reload time is very manageable at 1.818 seconds. The standard crossbow has only 6 bolts per mag, and only 1 mag when your character spawns in. Therefore, use all 6 bolts carefully. The standard bolt has a very standard parabolic arc, similar to the tomahawk, where you must be aiming above your targets at long range in order to connect with them. The Reaver C86 has 3 attachments and 1 sight, in order to help turn your average crossbow into a monster crossbow. First off, we have stock. Given you will mainly need to aim in most of the time, stock will allow your aiming speed to be improved, therefore allowing you to adjust your aim on side swiping enemies. Next up, extended mags brings your bolt mag total from 6 to 8 bolts, giving you an extra shot should you need it. Finally, titanium bolts allow bolts to fly faster and further, allowing you a quicker kill time as well as gifting you a flatter ballistic curve, helping you take down harder to reach enemies. The sight for the Reaver is a compact scope. This sight allows you to switch between a 1.5x optic and a 4x optic via pressing the right stick once aimed in. For our class loadout, we'll be fully optimising the crossbow's attachments as well as giving our class the ability to utilise all decent perks. First off, we'll be using the Compact Scope, a handy attachment that will help you hit enemies both near and far. Next, we'll equip the Stock Attachment, gifting us a better aim to help us in heavy combat situations. Our next attachment is Extended Mag. Even though it only grants us two more bolts, it's more useful to fire two more bolts in 0.5 seconds than waiting an extra 1.3 seconds for the reload. This also takes our max bot capacity up from 12 to 16. Finally, for our attachments, we will use Secondary Gunfighter Wildcard to equip the Titanium Bolt, gifting us a quicker firing bolt selection and a much faster time to kill. Our one equipment selection will be a Concussion Grenade, as enemies move a lot in Black Ops 4, a concussion will slow down a person for a few seconds, granting the opportunity to take them down. For our perks, Scavenger is a must. Each Scavenger perk grants you a full mag worth of bolts. Even though the maximum you can hold is 2 mags worth of bolts, this is still very beneficial as any time you need a refill, you can keep resupplying off your fallen prey. Our next perk will be Dexterity. Increasing weapon accuracy whilst jumping and sliding will help suit Black Ops 4's fast game style. Our final perk will be Ghosts. Keeping you off enemy radars allows you to get in the sneak attack on your victims. And that's our class loadout for the Reva C86. The crossbow is a very deadly weapon when used correctly. It can chop up a bunch of enemies really easily. A few things to remember when aiming at an enemy running either to your left or your right, always aim to the left or the right of them as bolts do not fire as quickly as bullets. Always reload when you have the chance because running out of bolts is not ideal. This weapon is very easy to max out given the few attachments and given the base weapon isn't too bad, you'll soon be at max weapon prestige before you know it. The only downside with this gun is it could have had a secondary operator mod in the form of an explosive bolt, but given the two shot firepower and the amount of mags you have, this could have become really overpowered. 
But anyway, thank you for watching the video. Leave a like if you have enjoyed. If you want to check out more of my weapon guides, there's a playlist link down below. I've done the Stingray, the Ballistic Knife, and the Vendetta. If there's any weapon you want me to cover in Black Ops 4 or any equipment or anything to do with Black Ops 4, please do let me know down below in the description and I'll work on that video as soon as possible. But anyways, please leave a like, subscribe for more, and stay epic.